Hello and welcome back to the channel. For those new here, my name's Roberto uh, and we're building a Street Fighter V4S uh, project. So we're gonna go through a couple of things today. Um, I've gotta be quick because we've gotta head over to Simon at uh, Motorcycle Panel and Paint. We're gonna start the um, design for the front carbon nose section um, to sort of emulate the 916 with the back being white. We wanna do the white with the gold pinstripe. Um, and we also wanna do a couple of other things. So um, just a bit of an update. So a couple of weeks ago, you may remember, we drew the winner of the helmet. Um, so I've got a photo of the lucky person, um, Luca, who won the helmet. So we'll um, flash to that now. Ooh. Now, the only bad thing about working in the industry that I work in and also loving the industry that I work in and loving motorbikes is when you're looking to order parts for people, you tend to get sidetracked and order stuff for yourself. So I actually make no money running Clean Ride because I spend it all on stuff. So point in being, um, the helmet. So we got um, the winner, his helmet that he wanted. Um, it's like a, I uh, forgot which one Masano, but the picture will sort of show it to you. Um, and I've sold quite a few of these to my clients. And I've always had an idea with the 803 RS that I wanted to get this clear because it's kind of sort of a little bit silly. You've got this beautiful carbon shape and you've got this sort of, you know, aerodynamic sort of bit. But because it's, you know, um, Perspex clear, it doesn't really show how cool it is. So we're going to bring the helmet to Simon as well as the nose piece um, in the next five, 10 minutes. So we've got a rush um, so he can paint it. So not sure we might go either a tinted black or maybe um, carry on the red just to give it more of a fuller look. And I think it'll look pretty cool with the Street Fighter. So the air will just go and slice open because being a naked and I don't really want to put a screen um, on the front, it's going to buff it a little bit. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. The other thing we're going to be doing, and I'm not sure if we're going to have time to show all the parts that we're going to be fitting because now sort of the, um, a bit worried, this is not going to fall and crack and then I have to buy a new helmet. No, um, we're fitting more of like the finishing off bit. So we've got the front sprocket cover. Now I did a bit of a bad thing. I raced ahead and fitted uh, my one, didn't film at all. And it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but a couple of days later, I had to fit one for a customer, which I did film. So we'll show you how to do that. Um, the other thing we're doing is we're fitting the bar clamps, the CNC racing. Um, you're gonna think black and black, but we'll show you it does make a difference and titanium bolts, which are cool. Uh, and the other thing, and now this is one of those parts that's so simple, so small, so insignificant, but when you get it right, it just finishes off the project. It's just, I'm, I'm even still chuffed about it. And I got this sorted a couple of weeks ago. So we got a CNC um, silver outer, Pramac um, limited edition, and then we got the special bronze uh, center cap. And what we're doing is we're mimicking the 916. So um, I've got a photo here to show you of a genuine 916 and then the actual uh, Pramac. Uh, quick release uh, fuel cap. So it's a uh, modern, you know, modern twist on a classic look. Get the pun twist, because it twists open. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna show you how to fit the fuel cap. Not sure if you'll see it this episode, it might spill over to next uh, episode. And if we do have time, maybe a little bit of the new shop. And again, let me know if you wanna see um, next weekend the Avath, um, but if not, that's cool, I won't. Um, worry about it. Now let's head over to Simon and um, have a chat with him and try and get these designs in place uh, ready for the painting of the front because I think that will really balance the bike out with the white uh, tail section and then the front nose placard white. Okay. So we're back here with Simon at Motorcycle Panel and Paint. Hello. Now, please say hello. Um, Simon's very, very busy, so I really appreciate him seeing me. Uh, it's, yeah, he's flat out. He just, I oh know, I'll be real quick. It's okay. Um, so, yeah, so we're talking about the front um, nose. So this is the carbon nose, mm -hmm. um, and you've done, and I took it off for you so you could make sure it's all right. That's the tail section that you painted for me. Mm -hmm. So we want to try and replicate that on the front, because remember the 916 had the, the number board at the back sure. and then at the front. So what from initially looking at it, because it's really hard. It's very small. Yeah, it's very small and we don't want it to be too busy, but I think it's gonna be busy. I don't, I don't know, what do you think? Have you had a thought about it? Well, what I did do, let me grab the iPad. I took, I've got a couple of shots here, which I'll put up for you uh, watching on YouTube, the pictures that I'm showing Simon. Oh, what's that girl? Um, all right, so 
that's kind of the standard 916. You know, it's got the yep. gold pinstripe light we've got on the tail, white, and then Ducati in the side. So obviously if we come across here, we're going to run into that vent. Yep. So I don't think we want to run through there. So essentially you're going to have to come low, which is what that's doing. Mm -hmm. If you want to show the... Can you put that on the... Yeah, it'll go. Yeah, wow. So, yeah. Editing. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I think we're going to have to come somewhere down here, aren't we? Yeah, I think you're probably right, actually. And follow that line there. I was thinking the vents, but might be good, but then I think it's going to be too much white, not enough red. Or, yeah, you come right around the vent and yeah. down here, and then it's going to be white. Yeah, see, I think the biggest drama for me with this is that because it's such a small area, we need to show the red, because obviously yeah. it's got no red on it, yeah. so it's going to be like a white placard. Yeah. Um, but then also, this is where it gets tricky, is that we want to, you don't go buy a carbon piece to paint it all. So we want to so show a bit of carbon on that. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of carbon. So yeah. I'm thinking I probably do like your idea of it going there. Um, and it looks like it actually goes straight all the way, so there's no edge on it. It's just all white. Straight down. Yeah, would you sort of do do that? See, even like that one there. So That's kick, kick it in here to there. We're going to have to throw some tape lines on it. Yeah. And we'll do a few scenarios. We could probably put that on there, some stills. Yeah. If you wanted to, I can do that today. Yeah, of course. Um, so now the rule of thumb is you generally need to follow the shape. Yeah. You've got to follow the lines. Of course. And the flow. So that's one option. All right. You can take a photo of that. So, well, let's just show it. If you just step oh, up yeah. a little bit, let's just show it. So we've got that option. Which is just very rough. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I don't think that's going to work. I think it needs to be Higher. that angle. I think yeah. the angle, yeah. Yep. So that... What do you reckon? Yeah. Otherwise, the other option I'm thinking is to bring it right down there. Lower. So it's just this sort of... Yeah, so... you got to be careful it doesn't defeat the purpose of the motherboard oh, yeah. as well. No. No. But that's not... I think this, it's getting this bit right here. Yeah, it's almost like it needs to be straight and then kick in. So let me just... Okay, so we've come up with a couple of designs, and I think this one's the best one, isn't it? So I actually like that. Yeah, yep. so it'll be like that. So where that line is, that will be the gold. Yep. Yep. So we'll do the gold. That will be the white. Now the only next question carbon. is, where do we leave the carbon? So do we do maybe this thing in here, left bare carbon, or do we do just up in here around the edge in bare carbon? What? Is there any other carbon bits on the? Oh, that heat. we've done, that mm, we've painted? No, 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 no. No, I was thinking of the hyper because I've got a part for the hyper. Yeah, that's right. As well. yeah. Um, no, I definitely think that that is 100% perfect. So happy with that. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. Maybe just this, like, whoop, the same thickness pinstripe, just yeah. down there, just through there, so it's just that. Oh, right. oh just the bottom? Yeah, just the bottom. Because okay. I think as soon as you start going up here, you've got too many lines to yeah, follow. It's, it disappears. There. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So what do you think? That'll look good. Yep. So just carbon there. Yeah, just that one little edge. I think it'll look better going all the way around. Yeah. To give nice shape to this. Yeah. That's quite nice there. Mm. Yeah, no, I think we got it. All right, so that's after yep. three hours of deliberating, we've, we've come At to least. a decision. Yeah, we've come to a decision. Simon's going to paint this centre section in white. Where the green is, it's going to be the gold pinstripe. And then after much deliberation and discussion with the carbon, because we need to, I mean, am I being silly and just painting it all red and not worrying about the carbon? Or am I doing an injustice to this part being carbon? I think I, I give the like carbon I'm, justice. Yeah, I'm feeling yeah. like betrayal if I don't show yeah, some of it. give the carbon justice. And also, like, the coolness factor. Like, yeah. oh, it's actually carbon. It's not dipped or anything like that. So. You like to give me um, tricky stuff? Yeah, I do. Awesome. All right, so we're going to let Simon go. This will be ready in about an hour or two, and we'll come up this afternoon. Okay. So, yeah, we'll get this guy knows when, because he's such a busy guy. This time next year, right? This time next year, yeah. done. Well, it's all right, because we've got the, the original one to use. So, yeah, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Very exciting. So, thanks so much again, Simon. Really appreciate See it. See you, buddy. All right.
Now you're probably wondering what the, my bike's changed color, but it hasn't. Um, what we're gonna talk about today is the, uh, the sprocket cover, um, front sprocket cover. A lot of people change it out for a carbon item. Um, it's a really cool sort of thing to do. It gets rid of the boring black bland bit, but I um, jumped ahead of doing my street fighter and I just did it and didn't film it and thought, oh, I probably should have filmed that because it's a bit sort of tricky and you kind of learn a few things when doing it. So this is one of my customers' bikes that I'm changing it over, putting a carbon guard, exactly what I did on mine. Um, but I thought I'd just sort of give you a couple of heads up in how to do it. Um, you can do two ways. You can do it the way that I'm doing, or you can do it with a rubber mallet and smash it in and scratch it all up. So the proper way of doing it is you need to undo the three bolts which go on the actual um, standard plastic um, sprocket cover. That will then sort of come off this way. Um, but in order to be able to take that off, you need to also undo the two bolts um, that hold the rear sets on and the two bolts on the actual like um, swing arm um, pivot. So you can actually remove the whole rear set off, um, put some nice cloth so you don't damage anything. So you've got full access to remove it because of the clutch slave um, cylinder banjo bolt, it really tucks in nice into there, which is fantastic, which I don't know why it needs to be so far away from the engine, but it just makes it so hard to get out properly. So it's almost like you need to bring it back a bit and then hook it back over. So that's why you need to remove uh, the rear sets to be able to take it off effectively and not damage it, but not that you really care about the plastic bit, but you don't want to damage the nice new carbon bit that you're going to put on. So, so yeah, bit of a tip, got to remove the rear set. Um, and then also undo the three bolts. Don't just undo the two bolts because you're thinking that it's holding it because you've got this metal plate. You need to actually remove that so then it lets, gives you more sort of freedom to move it out, okay? So we'll, um, we'll go and fit it back on and uh, we'll show you how it all goes back together. I'm sorry, I've been interrupted about 400 times. Uh, so I've got it in situ. You want to get the, uh, the metal um, sort of protector that goes behind um, the actual cover put in situ and you want to put one of the screws in and you want to keep everything really really loose because you don't want to tighten anything up yet then you've got the long screw which goes down the bottom and you want to just because everything's nice and loose it goes in easy just finger tight and then you've got the top screw if I can find it and that just goes in just finger tight and then you've pretty much got your uh, cover in carbon put in minus any damage scratching or cracking so that's kind of how it is so now what we'll do is we'll screw all that up and then we can put the rear set back on and then voila we've got a gorgeous um yeah carbon fiber sprocket cover and there we have it it's all been put back together rear sets are back on carbon um sprocket cover is on now instead of the oh let me get it instead of the cheap plasticky one and I think it looks really really nice and then when we add you know because it adds with the Ducati performance heel guard and then when we add the um, swing arm cover it's going to really look you know pretty trick as well as the rear guard so that's how it's all done cool Okay, just before we uh, say goodbye uh, for this week's episode, we'll quickly um, swap out one of the handlebar clamps. So the stock clamps are black and they have black, just mild steel bolts. Uh, we're gonna replace it with the CNC uh, clamps, which are black as well. And you're thinking, well, what's the point? Um, they look a lot better. They have CNC written on it and they also come with titanium screws. So it's a lot better than the black ones. So it's just a six mil Allen key. You undo it, take one side off first, which I've already pre-done. So I'll just put this on the bench. Then with the CNC ones and also with the stock ones, you've got to be careful. So um, the CNC goes outwards. So that's the way it goes on. And you get two different, or well, actually four, screws and two are different sizes. You have a longer size and a shorter size. The longer size goes at the back or closer to the rider, which goes in. And then the shorter side goes on the front. And then all you need to do is tight, hand tighten them up uh, equally and then torque them down to Ducati specifications, which I don't know off the top of my head, but I will get them from next door and then torque them down. So I'm just gonna do an initial little just hand tighten so you can see 
and then we've got uh, like almost a before and after. So you've got, that's what they look like with the CNC and that stock. And I think they look better and it's a simple, easy mod. You can get them in red and they do look really nice in red. Uh, we've done a couple of Street Fighters already with the red, but um, I just want to keep that sort of OEM sort of feel look about it. So I've just decided to go in the black. So awesome. I'm just going to put this down before I drop it or scratch something with it. So this brings us to the end um, of the episode. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, next week, unfortunately, we've run over a bit of time. So next week, we'll put the fuel cap in. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, now, also a bit of an update. Next week, maybe today, but it'll probably be Monday, Tuesday, we're getting the silver side stand pins direct from CNC that are custom made for us here at Clean Ride. And if you remember, I think it's episode 16, um, we're giving one lucky subscriber um, the chance to win one. So we're gonna post it anywhere in the world. So if you haven't already, um, please subscribe. And then also in the comments, just write, hi, I'm Fred and I'm from France. Um, and I'd like to win one. And then someone next week, so we're gonna put it um, on the um, live on the YouTube channel, will win the um, silver side stand pin. Um, as you can see, my brain is slowly exploding due to all the things that I'm having to do. Um, so yeah, so anyway, everyone stay safe, be good. We will see you next week. Uh, next week, hopefully, we'll have also the silver um, rear sets that are coming from CNC as well um, to replace the red. So hopefully that might make a difference or we've just wasted more money and it hasn't made any difference. So we're gonna fit them uh, and then the seat as well, we've got the higher gloss to make the leather a bit more um, redder um, and glossier. We're gonna be doing that. And then it's getting closer and closer and closer to riding the bike for its first initial shakedown ride. So um, it probably won't happen next week due to the, the Targa and I'll be swapping my full leathers for full fabric. Um, I look very smart in it, but I might add. So. Guys, girls, enjoy your uh, weekend, stay safe, and we'll see you all next week. Okay, thanks, bye.